A spark detection system consists of a detector that recognizes dangerous particles in a material flow and an extinguishing to eliminate these before they can create a fire or explosion in your plant. Sparks or glowing particles are not the only cause of fires and dust explosions in the process industry. In fact, overheated material generated by friction or over-drying are believed to pose an even greater risk, even though they do not glow and emit any light. Research shows at which temperatures and energy levels different material dusts can ignite. Wood dust, for example, can ignite from 470 degrees when dispersed in a cloud, such as, for example, in a filter. Note that the minimum ignition temperature drops down to about 260 degrees when the same material occurs in a layer, for instance, in a silo. This demo shows Firefly's unique and patented protection system. A particle is heated up to a temperature of almost 500 degrees. Note that this is not a spark or a glow. It's just a black particle with enough temperature to cause a fire in a filter, for example. The Firefly detector recognizes the infrared radiation from the hot particle. Firefly's unique patented multi-check principle can ensure detection quickness and full reliability in process flows in both pneumatic ducts and fall chutes. Once the dangerous particle is detected, it's of the utmost importance to quickly extinguish it. Firefly's state-of-the-art water extinguishing makes sure that dangerous particles are extinguished within milliseconds after detection. As you can see, the system is installed in a plexiglass duct, fully exposed to daylight without causing any false alarms. You can also see that the particle is cooled down so quickly that it can be picked up by hand again. Firefly always uses a minimum of three water nozzles from different directions to penetrate the material flow and ensure coverage of the entire cross-section inside the process duct or chute. Spraying water from only one side will leave uncovered sections inside the process duct or chute. 